Contrary to claim by authorities, eyewitnesses say about 18 students lost their lives in the tragic accident at the Ojodu area of Lagos. On Tuesday, a truck had accidentally rammed into students from Babs Fafonwa Secondary School, killing many in the process. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Momo, has more. The bomb struck from Tuesday's incident was still conspicuous when our crew got here. It was as a result of the rage felt by some residents. Babs Fafunwa Millennium Secondary School experienced a very tragic moment yesterday when a, a truck driver rammed into pedestrians. Now, it may look like the school is deserted right now, but that is not the case as this is actually closing time. The police actually released a statement saying that just two people died as against the rumor peddling around that over 17 or 15 people lost their lives as a result of the tragedy. Isheri Road, which was a shadow of itself at the end of the tragedy, seemed normal again as motorists ply endlessly. From Nigerian police had claimed that just two boys lost their lives and 12 others sustained injuries. However, eyewitnesses gave a different account. According to the information we had yesterday, that the driver was chasing by road safety and on his way coming, he passed about 17 of the students. They all died and majority of them have injured. Is here I'm selling market here. So as those children come outside, I went there, but I saw children on the floor. So they carried all these motor that they used to carry and they used to hire. So they pack all those children inside that motor and went. It's not two, it's not three, it's not four. The main road, I saw about 18 children where trailer clear all of them. And all of them, you see their brain, see, see the other one, brain, your coat, so another way, see this one, see eye, come out with hand broke. I see this terrible. So something, they rush to even uh, they rush to the police for inside there because this thing no concern the police, no concern the police. But the way they, the way they take attack the police, it was terrible. Even they destroy all the vehicle for inside the police station there. Even my vehicle that are packed there, they destroy everything. You can see me I'm standing there. I don't care what to do again. The police was able to bring the situation under control before it would have deteriorated. But what further steps should be taken to curb this menace? Uh, good measures so that uh, such a thing will not occur again. Uh, you know, chasing vehicle on the road, it goes two ways. It's either he hit somebody or he went into uh, somebody's structure to destroy it. So a, there are ways government should uh, make things so that they will improve. Even if uh, somebody commits offence and starts running, you can only pick the person number. Within a short, a short period of time, you will be able to get the person. A lot still needs to be done to ensure the children who go out daily to school are secure and get back home alive to their families. Destiny Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.